My name is Avinash Lakshman and uh, I founded Hedwig end of May last year and we are trying to do something innovative in the infrastructure space, primarily targeting virtualized environments and keeping enterprises in mind. Uh, some of the things that we have been seeing is that you know the, the trend now is to build more uh, build your data centers and especially you know support your infrastructure environment in uh, AWS style which is you know more private cloud like environments right? where you don't where everything from provisioning be it storage or networking or compute should be brain dead simple like when you go to AWS today you click a few buttons and everything is done you're not filing tickets to IT, either to the storage guys or to the network guys to have, for example, VMs provision for you. Now, in order to make that more AWS style, you need to really rethink how the underlying infrastructure is laid out. And that, we thought, was a fundamental problem that needed solving. And that's the space that we are going after. We are... We believe that AWS today is very much the blueprint for how such environments need to be built, right? So most of the ideas, at least at the high level, come from there. Um, but the way we are building it is like, I'll have to give you a brief history of my background. Um, I was one of the guys who co-created Amazon Dynamo, uh, which is kind of the genesis of the whole NoSQL movement. And then uh, I was the inventor of Apache Cassandra. So what I've learned by not only building, but also operationally running these systems uh, was worth its weight in actually more than gold uh, because those are the kind of tricks and techniques that you need to actually stitch together to solve this problem. In that sense, my background has been very unique and that goes a long way in helping us kind of define the solutions to get to where we want to get to. <coughs> Fundamentally speaking, I think the Anything that you need to do which is cloud-like has to be implicitly elastic in nature, right? Um, with elasticity comes fault tolerance. And these are all fundamental primitives that should be supported by our underlying infrastructure. Also, another major requirement is the ability to be able to program against your infrastructure through either industry standard APIs or through APIs that you expose that people can embrace, right? So these are some of the things that one needs to have in place in order to make this whole thing kind of possible, both from a provisioning and monitoring standpoint and also from an operation standpoint. <laughs>